This is Kim from K Diamond Paints, and we're doing Spring Edition. It's not really spring yet, but I live in a very cold climate. I'm really sick of being cold. Really, really, really sick of being cold. I'm tired of the snow, and so we're just going to start spring now, and we're just going to push through. So this is going to be a whip wine in, what, three? And I'm still using my A3 light pad. It's still going strong and still not available. So let's get going. Okay, so I just knocked the drills everywhere. So we're going to do a little cleanup. And then we're going to start diamond painting. Hold on. Okay, so I dumped everything. By the time I cleaned it up, I had to start doing something else. A long time went by, and so here's my progress. I've got the ears of the fox. Doesn't he look cute? So then I was just going to keep going down because I am a very linear person, and I really work in very traditional, <laughs> not exciting at all ways. But I thought the eyes are so cute on this image, and we get to the cute part already. So I started down at the bottom. This is very unlike me. Oh, it's like way out of the box. But, so I figure we did the top, we'll do the bottom, and then we'll end on the eyes so we can save the cutest part for last. And then, let me reach around you real quick here. Um, this is the first time I'm working out of bags. The last time I worked out of bags, I did one color, the whole diamond painting, and so then I was done with the bag. But this is a lot of confetti. Let me get you down here. See in the background, the background's not one color, and it's just a lot of color change. So I'm not able to, it's going a little bit slow going, and I'm not able to just finish one color like that. So if you didn't see the unboxing, they put my name, this was a custom from Oli Store, they put my name on everything. I'll link you to the store here. So that's what I have this backwards, so you... Not looking at my name, but, um, so I used one of our little foam rollers. I put these in a little index card box I bought from the Dollar Tree, and so this is how I'm doing it this time. It's working. I have to tell you, I don't like the bags as much as I like my little containers, but it's something different, and it's, it is more compact to travel. So, there is that, but all things being equal, I would do my little containers again. It's just the way I like it because I line up all the containers in front of me and I can see everything this you have to flip through okay let's set up and get going okay I just have to pull up this section here for myself and let me say this is whip wine and what number three I think I already said that but anyway and this is going to be what shoe edition I know I'm very excited too from a little bit from the very first whip wine and what where um, we all discovered our love of fish shoes come on I know our love of fish shoes and then um, I don't know because of that or what I just got a lot of um, shoes through my AliExpress feed and I am a shoe girl complete shoe girl so I decided we'd do a complete shoe edition. So I'm very excited. Oh wait, so the first one we have up, I think, very utilitarian. We all need these, maybe. And here you go, number one. I call these, um, the purse shoes. Don't you see it, right? Well, one, I think it would be hilarious to put like gummy bears in there. Look at the next one. See, they put all kinds of cool stuff in there, right? Um, put your lunch in there. Would that not be hilarious? Would not pe People would just stare at you. You sit down, take off your shoe and pull out your lunch. <laughs> I love that idea. But I was also thinking, wouldn't it be cool to fill them with diamonds? with drills if you had you know how some people they keep their leftover drills in um, jars and things like that fill up the bottom of the shoe with the drills 
But the reason I call it the purse shoe, I think this is great. Um, I don't know about if it's every NFL stadium or just the one around here, but you can't, women can't take in purses anymore. They have to be clear plastic so they can see inside of them, which I just think is annoying. And I would love to just carry in like all, not at all <laughs> for a, for every crowd type of thing in there. I would just love to stuff it full of adult products and, and take it in. That would just crack me up. But I thought, fine, stuff your shoes with all of your stuff. Don't bring a purse in. Just keep everything in your shoes. Tell them there, no, no purse here. I've got nothing. And use your shoes. I love this idea of a shoe purse. Oops. Oh. Oh, I am such, I'll put the picture in for you here. I am such an aggressive drill placer. Look what I did to my drill pen. It's because I know what you're thinking. It's because I slide them all over the place. That's exactly what happened. Oh, see like that? I just am terrible. Can you, see? maybe I'll zoom you in. We'll try and zoom in. Move it. Excuse me. Excuse me. So sorry. There. That's a little bit closer anyway. Um, anyway, shoe purse, the next big craze. I think that's it. And on to number two. Okay, the second one, second pair. What do I have? What should we do for the second pair? There are so many to choose from. Oh. These are just wild. Ready? Here you go. <gasps> Aren't they crazy? They're crazy. I call them bubblegum shoes. Don't they look like bubblegum shoes? But here's what I thought <laughs> when I thought about walking in these. Some of these I just think how in the what do you how do you walk in these things you know like skates um here I'm gonna put up a pair of skates for you right there too right like the stopper on the skates these shoes seem to me like roller skates without stoppers on them in that you would take a step and just go head first head first into the ground I don't see how oh they just like you would come up short in your steps and you would just fall head first. At least I would. I have no grace. There is no, I mean, I am so accident prone. It's absolutely ridiculous. So these, I'm sure I would hurt myself and probably some bystander by walking in these shoes. But aren't they cool? They look like bubble gum. Who doesn't love pink bubblegum shoes? Like the, what was that? Hubba Bubba Bubblegum? Did you, do you remember Hubba Bubba Bubblegum? Oh, if my sister's watching this. She used to, eat, she'd eat more than one piece at a time. It was hilarious. Oh, and then you know what she would do. She's going to love me for this. So we had an um, ice cream parlor by our house. It was called an ice cream parlor. It was an ice cream shop. It was really fun. They had all kind they had a little candy shop in there. A couple of video games. But they had an ice cream. It was bubblegum ice cream. It was blue ice cream and it had gumballs in it. And she would pull the bubblegum out of the ice cream and then put them all in a napkin and save them for later so she'd have bubblegum. Oh, she is so adorable, huh? Adorable. Okay. What next, you guys? What next? Number three. Oh. So if you thought you couldn't walk in the last ones, check out these bad boys. Oh, of course, these are witchy shoes. I call these witchy shoes. But honestly, don't you think that you would walk around in these like you were in flippers? Because you couldn't just 
regularly place your feet, you would have to pick up your whole feet. It would be just like flippers. And then look at the heel. Oh, this is some stiletto heel heel. I I can walk in heels. I'm I'm okay. I know I just said I'm clumsy, but I I mean I wear I'm a short girl, so I wear heels a, a lot and um so I can walk in heels, but I would ne I would never buy a stiletto that stilettoed. I'm not that good. That to me takes a lot of core strength, a lot of coordination. But forget that. I mean, it doesn't even the heel doesn't even matter. How can you get past the toe? You wouldn't even. Oh, doesn't want to pick this one up. There we go. You just wouldn't even get past the flipperness of it all. The witchy flipper shoes. I don't know. I would love to see somebody. I wish they had. You know how sometimes for the diamond paintings, um, they have little videos of them making them or doing the diamond painting. I wish they had little videos of people actually watching and walking in these shoes as a little how-to. These shoes need a how-to guide. Okay. What's next? Let's pull out the next color first, and then we'll do that. Um, we'll do Big E. What's capital E? Okay. And what did we do? Oh, these. Ready? Look at these shoes. They're like a squiggle shoe. My husband actually likes these shoes. I could try these. These I could try. Because they look, they, the heel isn't too high. It does, if you look, it has a place for your heel to go. And then maybe it's the um, bridge of your foot, the arch of your foot that's not a um, bridge. Arch? <laughs> I'll get, it's some structure of your foot. Is maybe open and then the ball of your foot foot then has a place to land but because they're not too tall and these are like $33 some of I think the rest of them are all up in the hundreds for the crazy shoes that who could walk in them $100 so this one and of course because it's pink I love pink so these are a consideration See, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna toss you, the drills, and the diamond painting are all gonna go on the floor before this is over. Did you take your Dramamine this time? Hope everybody took their Dramamine this time. I'm trying, you can see, I'm trying a, oh, there we go. I'm trying a different camera angle, so hopefully I won't hit you <laughs> as much as I did last time. It was no good. Okay. So squiggle shoes, pretty pink squiggle shoes. Oops, there's some more over here. See, I wasn't paying attention. More over here. Okay. And I don't know what number we're on now. Not that it matters. Be on number 22. The next one is the next one. So, up next is... Oh, hold on. Let me move this. <laughs> I'm so... Right, I know what you're thinking. Kim, you just need to take up a different craft. This is just not for you. <laughs> but I like it. I'll figure it out one of these days. You know what was really helping was... Did you see my... um? Bent tip diamond painting pen? Well, that's the one I broke. It's not its fault. I was really being... this. The glue on here is pretty good glue. You can, as you've seen, you can... Oh. <laughs> you can move stuff around. Um, but it's not as... You know, some of the stuff is you can just squish everything all over the place. 
This is a little bit um, stickier than that. I think it's a perfect amount of sticky. Not for me, of course, because I place everything wrong. But I, I honestly feel that this glue is so nice that I wouldn't even bother sealing, sealing the diamond painting. I can't imagine how long it would take for this stuff before it gives out. It is... It is some good glue. I like everything about this company so far. I'm very happy. Very happy with it. Okay, anyway, forget all that. Squiggle shoes, what's next? Oh! There's some cat lovers out there. I know there are some people watching. You have cats, right? These are the cat toy shoes. Ready? Here you go. <laughs> Don't they look like cat toys? So here's what I picture. I picture people walking around with these in their house and the cats just attacking your feet. Can't get enough. The puffball cat toy shoes. Who doesn't need puffball cat toy shoes? And honestly, are you wearing these outside the house? They do look like boots, not slippers. Because typically I would think, you know, puffballs, slippers, but no, these are full on boots. So you're wearing your. I mean, what outfit does this go with? I don't know, but I like them. I think you should wear them around your house and just for your kitties. The kitties are going to love these. Puffball. So now it makes me want to remember how you could make the um, pom-poms. So just get a pair of socks, make a bunch of pom-poms, stick them all over it. And then I could sell them on AliExpress. I'm sure somebody would buy them. Okay. Puffball. Do you have a favorite so far? You just have to let me know in the comments which is your favorite pair of shoes. I don't know. Let me see. Well, we'll keep going and then we'll be able to, to decide. We have we still have a few more. You have to speed up so we're not watching shoes all night long. Hey, people watch QVC shoes all night long. They can watch these shoes all night long. These are way better. Okay. All right. Um, here we go. Next one up is, I think, six. I think we're on six. Again, it doesn't matter. But these are Rainbow Bright shoes. Don't you think these remind you of Rainbow Bright? Rainbow Bright, I'm sure, rocked these shoes. So, I bet kid, like the like the Burning Man or Coachella or something, I bet the girls are all over these. The Rainbow Bright shoes, they are so cute. With the little, I mean, on the clip, the little clouds, that is exactly how I used to draw when I was a little girl. Make the... Make the rainbow, right? All your make your rainbow really bowed and then put little clouds on either end of it. That's exactly what these remind me of. The little rainbows I made when I was a little girl. So adorable. And look, I think we have a fighting chance of walking in this pair. Maybe you could walk in the in the puffball pair, but I can't I don't even know how you get your feet into them. So I'm not going to guarantee that you could walk with those because I don't know. They don't look like, I don't know. I don't know on those, but these you can actually, I would think you could walk in these. So great news, everyone. Another pair we could actually wear. Oops. Here we go. Okay. Rolling. We're on a roll now. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Next one, we did rainbow. Oh, this was my, my sister liked this one. Ready for all the gardeners out there. See, there's something for everybody. Cat lovers, gardeners. Mm. Look at these. They're rose trellis shoes. Aren't they so cute? I know. So I'm thinking maybe we could actually put a little planner in there in the bottom of the cage. 
And plant a plant in there. Like one of those tiny little miniature like viney plants or something like that. That would be excellent. Excellent, excellent. Or just go to Joanne Fabrics and you could change out, like you could put holly berries in for Christmas time and put little branches with tiny little flowers and little eggs for Easter. They could be your seasonal rose trellis shoes. I think there's endless possibilities. Endless possibilities. Oh my gosh. But wouldn't that be great to just change them out all the time? I think that would be fun. Some of these shoes are interactive shoes. I appreciate that in a shoe. I don't think I've ever had an interactive shoe before. My, I would say my most fun shoe. I mean, I have a lot of great shoes. But my most fun shoe, um, my husband bought for me. We were out for my birthday. And he took me to go buy shoes for my birthday. So I bought this really beautiful pair. Um... Of shoes but then they were having this great sale and I found these crazy shoes and he said no buy them so if I can I'll I'll you know I'll put a picture of my shoes in here for you so these are mine this is my only pair I think this is a six inch heel they are crazy high the first time I wore them right I mean it looked I know they look like silly hooker shoes but I wore jeans, long jeans, so you could just see the toe peeking out um, and just a really conservative sweater with it. So that was just like the color in the outfit. And you, as I said, you couldn't see the whole shoe. So I thought they looked nice anyway. Or not nice. They don't look nice. They're not nice shoes like that. They look fun. It was a fun date night. Anyway, anyway, anyway. The place we go to is in this cute little village area shopping, um, little shop area. And we get up. It's raining. It starts to rain. Of course, right? Of course it starts to rain. So it starts to rain. The, um, the parking lot is gravel. <laughs> so already off to a great start. The parking lot is gravel. So, and then when we got into the shopping area part of it, it was all cobblestones. <laughs> so I had to hang on to my husband's arm. It's like, the the um high heeled gauntlet I had to go through on my first time wearing those shoes. It was the first time I had ever been in shoes that high. Typically I I'll do like a four inch heel, but um yeah, I mean it is so much more difficult on that level. Like you even have to like pick your feet up higher, it seems. But that just cracked me up when we both we got through the parking lot. We knew that's the parking lot it was going to be. We've seen the place. But then when we walked into the shop area and it was all cobblestones, we looked at each other and just laughed. We were just cracking up. That was so funny. And as I said, I'm accident prone anyway. So he's just looking at me. I'm, well, this, this date night is going to end with us in the hospital <laughs> for a broken ankle. I'm like, no, I can do it. You just have to believe. <laughs> Okay, so that was Rose Trellis. Oh, okay. So if you've been saying all this time now that, hey, Kim, these shoes are nice, but besides the first pair, I don't like to walk in heels. I don't, you know what? I don't want to walk in heels. Well, that is fine because I told you I have something for everybody. Here are some tennis shoes. Ready? Here you go. Come on now, don't tell me I wasn't thinking of you. They're tennis shoes. I know. That color's not very versatile, right? That's what you're thinking now. So, here you go. They come in black. Black is versatile. Black goes with everything. So don't tell me you can't wear them. They go with everything. I wonder if like you would be knocking people, if people could feel that. Is it just like material? Is it stiffer? They look stiffer that you would be walking around knocking into things. They are so adorable. I would have worn these. I don't know when, but I think I would have worn these in my 20s. 
I wore weird stuff when I was in my 20s. I'm pretty sure I would have worn these. The beautiful butterfly Converse high tops. Okay. And now I've been talking your ear off for, I don't know how long now, but it's probably been a while. Okay, so now we're on to our last. Again, I've saved the best for last. You know I saved the best for last. And this, I just wish, you know, I'm going to get a drum roll soundtrack to put on here because these are, you know, I think these are going to be way up there with the fish shoes, you guys. That's what I think. Way up there with the fish shoe status. Ready? Here we go. For all those special occasions that you needed heels, chaps, and garters, now you have the shoe for them. <laughs> are these not the best? These are the best. I'm not sure. Are they assless chaps or are they, <laughs> you're supposed to wear them over pants or they're just putting them over pants? It's, it's excellent. It's excellent. I just love them. These would be great for special occasions. What special occasion, you ask me? I'm not sure. I can't think of everything, right? I'm sure somebody has a special occasion and they've been on the hunt. And, you know, if you need it, you just contact me. I will give you a link. But be warned, I think they were, well, they were over a hundred. Everything was over a hundred. So you're going to have to lay down a pretty penny. But, I mean, how can you argue? Look at all the fake suede that goes into these chapped garter heels. Boots? Heel boot? See, even, even that. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much for joining me for Whip Wine. Ooh. Whip? See, it's the wine part. The wine. By the time we're done, the wine is killing me. I'll try again. Thank you so much for joining me for Whip Wine and What Spring Edition, Shoe Edition. And I'll have, I'm going to do a couple of different crafts this month. Um, not just diamond painting, some other things, uh, some other crafts that I have planned and I hope you like them. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you for visiting.